Well, back in Street of Zoot is only one thing that's absolutely never going to be trying to that as well. So, we're back to Street at uh, Toronto, and let's take for the independent circuit in Zoot. It will be absolutely trying to do so, but anyways, but I'm sorry, I just started to get lost my mind because due to, I swear, I'm not going to give myself a huge bad luck because due to it's only one thing. So, let's take the AMG GT3 into the streets of Toronto now we have only one GT3 left there are no other kinds of GT3s anymore and maybe it's not gonna be taken for a very long time that we're using the AMG GT3 and because there's only one thing we have things we just absolutely we've just never able to get fined overall we're starting in again for just overview inside of the onboard view and about for the AMG GT3, and about for starting at this moment, it's not going to be taking for very much worse. But all of the sudden, it's not going to be taking for just a little bit of work. It's just going to be battling with all ways for race cars, as even very possible. So it looks like to hit out for a 7,000 RPM, it's going to be taking for this only one opportunity to blast all the way itself to 7,000 RPM which is going to be making us into our fastest lap times whatever that we're going to be using for only one GT3 is the Mercedes AMG GT3 Hamilton Edition my taking for just a little bit more as well and because of as the AMG GT3 will blast it all the way it's not blasting going to be all the way and we're rocking for tightly lap times for overall and it should be going to be taking for 7000 RPM so the onboard view is over and because of this all of a sudden we're going to be taking it back for this necessary and going to be getting down as well so but overall we're going to be taking for as far as absolutely onboard view now let's take it for only one thing as well in the second gear which is absolutely we wanted to get for a uh, more faster than a uh, GTE cars as well the GT4 cars does not match to this only one thing because if you're just becoming a street racer, that is should be going to be taken for all of I guess. Because my decision is, if we're going to be taking around for the GT4 lap times, we should suggest it's not going to be taken for us for this little bad thing. And the AMG GT3 does sound pretty not realistic as well. And because this sounds like CD's car train as well. So it looks like we're going to be hitting up for the first gear. This does look like the Macau International Circuit as well. So it looks like we just absolutely hit the wall for our first time and by taking for a huge amount of oversteers and making things for just a little bit. For the first sector is 1.3 seconds behind. And now in the second sector is 0.3 seconds behind against Rome. And because all of this bad suddenly for just only one thing. And literally it's not going to be taken for just the best lap times whatsoever. We'll be trying again for another one. And we're going to be heading it back to pits. We're just going to be taking for about for the medium stage. So it looks like we're just absolutely hitting to 1 minute and 17 seconds. It's not pretty fast whatsoever. And because all of a sudden the GTEs are really faster than whatever for expected for just a little bit. For once. That I just want to know that I absolutely needed to get a little bit fast until we just absolutely reaching to under 7000 RPM I think 0 0.3 seconds behind is absolutely pretty good as well in the first sector as well so it looks like we're going to be taking on to the first gear and make sure it won't be going to be necessary at all and my going to get a little bit hurt in about for our last decade if this is absolutely for a few seconds ahead it's a little bit for zero in a few seconds, zero point few seconds ahead of this one. It should not be going to be taken for just a little bit. Now it's time to head things a little bit slow. Boy, it's not going to be such as going to be quick video though. I think this is going to be taken for very much less. I think we're just about to get a little bit for stress in the, the second gear as well to get on and really going to be really fast. And because I'm taking on to the wall hits as well, 1 minute and 15.547.
this is absolutely to take a little bit of no advantage at all. So we suggest we're going to be trying again. But all of this runs straight. And since we just absolutely cool things down, we're going to be doing this once again. Because all of this only one strategy. We're not going to be counting for some corner cuts at all. And that's how it's going to be we trying for our lap times for even for the first time. And the 911 RSR just takes it. Here we go, let's do this for once again. We're blasting all of this out of here and trying to start breaking into this one into before the first turn. And my app's only going to be taking to catching up for the Audi RS2 boy as well. So it looks like we're going to be using for our first gear. That was an interested oversteer as well. And it looks like we're going to be taking on to the fifth gear and taking for a little bit of the mini size of this blast. Now all they have to do is 0.2 seconds in front of us. The last thing that we need to never able to show this one, because absolutely taking for the first gear, is the AMG taking for so many laps, we have to do for its maximum attack. And it looks like it's going to be not taking for around charge. I don't really think it's going to be taking for about for this either. So taking about for the LMP1 lap time should be going to be very hard as well. And that can cause you really hurt as well. And it's going to be not limited for this other stuff as well. 0.5 seconds in front of us. Now it looks like you're going to be taking for a little bit more just going to be going inside. And about to take around for the second gear. And before we're going to be absolutely trying to start all the way into the fourth gear. We just made things a little bit and make sure it won't be going to be necessary as always. 1 minute and 15.847 It's going to be taking for just a little bit for only one thing. Now it's time to bake things for a very fast moment. I must be really literally fast. If I don't see for some kind of just a little bit for a few sectors. So the first sector was pretty good. Now the next thing that I need to get to be all the way for a gear third to second. Now last thing is going to be taking all the way to gear first and make things a perfect lap as well. And because of this bunch strategy, that should be able to take us for just a little bit more in second gear to third gear. And I might be able to make sure that we're going to be making it into this fastest lap. And it should be going to be taking for a little bit of us. And another sector is good. Now we should be able to let go of the funnel. Oh no, that wasn't pretty good as always. 1 minute and 15 seconds has been failed due to exactly how it's absolutely... I FORGET! Oh my god, how this is absolutely forgettable. I mean, I think we need to have something kind of a BMW GTE as well. What about the BMW? It's absolutely really gone as well. It's not pretty such a good idea. If we just absolutely find somewhere, it's not going to be taking for out for this literally seriously. If this is absolutely really good, and this is some other kind of just all the ways, and some other kinds of this game is not taking for very good about for this one. It's about for only one strategy, 1.1 seconds in front. And it looks like I have to get back into the garage itself because I made ourselves for a various corner cuts as well. Just do something kind of a little bit for this one. I make sure I made the fastest lap beyond of the race mode as well and because we're ready for a GT3 race in the race mode that's not even possible alright so we're in back into the pits if you just gonna be going inside of that pits that should causing for a huge amount of corner cuts when pit entry that should cause for a huge amount of corner cuts as well and as you can see in my dealership I mean my garage we just absolutely need to find some GT3 cars or GTE cars. So, what about exactly how this is not going to be exist about the GTE cars as well? And it turns out, there is no BMW here. For just against anymore, for just a little bit. And because this is only one strategy, that we just absolutely have this BMW GTE over, I guess. And the GTE BMW, it absolutely removed. I don't think this is absolutely... Thankfully, that I'm going to be using for a Group 5 Special. And that wasn't pretty allowed for this one. And the GT1 lap time should be going to be used it for a, against 2. And against 1 for just a little bit. That we're going to be giving ourselves a go. 
Now MG GT3 and GTSR and Nismo GTR. And what I cannot be able to do is I don't want to give up for something like reasons as well. So before we're gonna be end of this video, we have absolutely for a GT1 reference as well. And it looks like we're gonna be getting inside of this right-handed as well. But it looks like we're gonna be taking us for this faster. That car just despawned literally really fast as well. But fortunately, we're gonna be taking on inside for this. A various taking over for this one is not taking for very good as well. So it looks like we're gonna be using a Dodge Viper GTSR. It does not feeling a little bit good about this moment. So I'm gonna be giving myself a really a go with a Dodge GTS GT1 as well as Mercedes GT1. Because of this one, but the Mercedes AMG GT3 is winning the faster lap times is 1 minute and 15.5. And that was absolutely really faster than Dashinator RD17 or RD21 or RD1000. Let's speed in World Grand Prix reference as we're going to be taking around for its start. And it looks like we're going to be taking around for slow down as well. And make sure I might going to be finished around for somewhere kind of laps as well. I might sure this is absolutely to take around for this very easy. And about for some kind of tweaks more faster than Mercedes AMG GT3. Looks like we're passing about the GT4 as well. We start getting a little bit slower. Than what I ever expected that we're going to be taking a little bit for going on. As we take on the first gear, 0.4 seconds behind the AMG GT3. And looks like we're not able to, supposed to, get away from this very fast slap times whatsoever. To take onto this one advantage and make this sizer as well. And because this is absolutely one thing that I need to show. And it's going to be taken for a very as much as lap as you can. 0.7 seconds behind for just a little bit one. The GT1 is blasting himself really fast. It's not very possible as well. And because back into the first gear, into second gear, the blast into third gear. And let's try again for this, shall we? And it looks like we're just going to be taking for a little bit once. 1 minute and 11.697. If this is absolutely very faster than some kind of other kinds of GT1 cars, maybe it's going to be taking for a little bit for a mountain this one. And it looks like we're going to be taking for all of this stuff. And it's going to be very quickly. I mean, we already did. So it looks like we just absolutely need to make all the way things a little bit down. I make sure that I jump out of the car and switch back into the garage. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be all ready to do one more. And using it by the GT1 car, and I'm gonna be using as a Nissan GTR Nismo GT1. Now before we're gonna be make onto this one straight, we still have Mercedes AMG GT3 as well. But looks like we're gonna be taking onto this close. It has a right-handed for one vehicle itself. And this has got to be really faster than what it was. The Dodge Viper GTSR and blasting all the way for this only one of the Before we're going to be in this video, maybe there was something in the chat filter as well. Since the lap was invalidated, let's do this for once again. And because of this only one reason that we need to get a little bit slow in about the second gear. And looks like we're going to be taking for against the fastest lap times with a GTR 35 Nismo GT1. Looks like we're going to be blasted all the way for up here. The GTR Nismo GT1 is blasted all the way for a using about for a GT1 Nismo. So all of that I guess is 0.1 seconds ahead of us. Now let's going to be taking for our second corner about the first gear. Now let's see if this is not going to be taken for a very good strategy if this is now going to be taken for absolutely really worse as well. And because we're going to be taking around this seriously to take on to the fifth gear. As it looks like we're just going to be in for a lap corner so about for a touch. It looks like we got 0.9 seconds in behind for as well. So it looks like we're going to be using for gear 6. Now it looks like we're going to be taking all over to this one and hit to gear 3rd as we never get to be even possible as well and hit the round for the second gear 0.0 seconds 
I think we just made for this a little bit first. The Dodge Viper wins and looks like it's not able to get for so much speed, whatever it is. So, if you like for today into this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you just like for a GT1 and GT3 lap times, we got two GT1s and one GT3 car on this one left. But say this Nissan is absolutely pretty in intimidating for just this way the Dodge Viper GTSR is the winner that I never meant to be for as well and that's how because it's literally very fast as well because I'm sorry we're gonna be doing this really next time that I'm gonna be signing off with this one but thanks for watching that was absolutely crazy for just a little bit one and due to some kind of a crazy racing for just in cars to reference so cheer out and I'm gonna be signing off for this time over and out.